Hi guys, it's time to do the do. See ya. Hi guys, thank you for joining me for another shave and scent of the day. I'm excited for this one today. The Dew, based on the Mountain Dew, as you could probably figure out from that, based on the Mountain Dew soda, which is a uh, lemon lime orange soda. Um, and it definitely smells just like it. So I'm excited to get into this. So we got that. I've got the matching splash. Um, it is alcohol splash, but um, alcohol is the last ingredient on here. So there's some alcohol, but not very much. Um, and I'm going to finish with 11 um, Sicilian lemon balm today. I don't need anything very heavy. Um, we're going to be outside. Reed's got a baseball game, so um, I don't need anything too heavy. Um, weapon of the day, the Mercure Future. This will be my second try. And this one I'm going to do on setting one. So we're going to go from the least efficient setting or from the, the most efficient setting to the least efficient setting and see how it does. See if it still provides a, a close shave that way. I mean, I got to, got to run it through the rigors and find out what it's good for you. Um, my Brian Tansy Tennessee Vols brush. I mean, we're talking about mountains and the greatest mountains are the Smoky Mountains. So hence the uh, Morgan Wallen in the picture um, and then my Orange Tennessee Tansy. Okay, there may be other wonderful mountains out there. That's fine. Um, but Tennessee Mountains, Rocky Top, you'll always be home sweet home to me. Good old Rocky Top, Rocky Top, Tennessee. So I gotta, I gotta represent my state. I know I don't live there anymore, but I will always be a Tennessean, whether I still live there or not. All right, so I've already loaded her up, and let's get going. This one is a um, like a shea butter, uh, cocoa butter, castor oil um, <clears throat> soap. Some glycerin, some other goodies, obviously some lye. I'm not lying about that. Um, Seems like simple ingredients, um, but from what I remember from my first shave, um, I can't remember what the name of the last one was that I had. Um, it performs better than you would think for a small ingredient list. I was actually extremely um, pleasantly surprised when I tried it. This is Night Watch Soap Co. Thomas the Shaver if you know him from Instagram. I don't know if he has a YouTube or not. But anyway, seems like a really nice guy. And <laughs> this smells awesome. I mean, lemon lime orange. Obviously the soap, just the smell of soap will take out, take a little, um, a little, makes, makes a little variation in the scent. Um, but the splash, I haven't, I haven't put it on, but I just opened it and gave it a whiff and it, I mean, it's, it's spot on. It smells just like opening a Mountain Dew soda. I mean, you can say whimsical because it smells like Mountain Dew, but it's a beautiful citrus. And I am a fan of citrus. As many of you out there know. Look, I mean, we got a nice shine going there and we still got more water to put in. Really smooth, silky feeling lather. And I like it. And Thomas and his wife just came kind of out of nowhere from, from my perspective with Nightwatch Soap Co. I had no idea they were even making soap. I know they've had testers doing, well, testing. I mean, that's what a tester does. Uh, but doing testing for him. But, you know, I had no idea this was going on. And then all of a sudden, boom, there's Nightwatch Soap Co. So good for them. 
doing a good job so far. All right, I've got a lot of water in here. You look at that glisten. I mean, that's pretty. Soaked up a ton of water. I've got some lather diarrhea on here and I can barely hold the brush, so I'm gonna wash that off. Woo, it's slick. I promise you it is slick. Hard to hold on to slick. All right, Allen block, so I don't hurt myself. And I'm excited to see how this Futur does on its least efficient setting. The most efficient, efficient is definitely efficient. Um, I'll say it's more efficient than um, the R41. Was it smooth like the R41? Not really. Certainly not as smooth as the R41 in my eyes. I mean, you can still hear it peeling. This thing's got such a crazy sound to it. This is a Vashkod, as you saw from the picture. And I did manage to get the blade in there um, more even this time. Someone suggested um, putting the blade into the cap um, and setting that down, you know, on a table and then pushing it in. And so by putting it on the cap, I could, I could manipulate the blade and get it even on both sides before I actually pushed the razor down onto it. So that worked. So thank you. I'm sorry, I can't remember who it was that, that suggested that, but thank you for that. What's the matter? He fell off the slide. Off the slide. And then it on his oh. Oh, sweet boy. No, you can't blame someone else for you getting hurt unless they hurt you physically. I mean, should the bike be there? No, but that's not why you got hurt. You got hurt because you fell. And we can't blame other people for our mistakes, sweet boy. Walk it off. That's what my parents would say, walk it off. The head on this thing is so bulky. I mean, it's still balanced okay, but it's, um, overall, it's a it's a heavy razor. It's hard to keep from putting any pressure on. Big old wonky head. It's, it's still quite efficient on one. This razor is certainly not going to be for everyone. If you have sensitive skin, I'm going to say, if you have real sensitive skin, I'm going to say probably don't bother. heft of it makes it hard to keep from uh, putting pressure on there because I mean I mean you really have to hold on to this thing it's uh beefy also in the last video when I got my chin I thought it was where <clears throat> where I'd had a blemish but it wasn't it was just a that was just a straight cut there was one straight little spot right there where I got in there where obviously that skin got under that blade gap And when did it happen? When I was chasing the dragon? Yeah, you're right. I know you I know you should have told me. I mean 
still quite efficient for a, <clears throat> you know, number one setting. Boy. Stuff's so slick I can't get a, can't get a grip on my brush. All right, here we go. Beautiful brush and not... I'm not kidding. Mm. I love this scent. I love a good citrus, and this is definitely a very good citrus. That was like, I think, three days growth. Yeah, I shaved last on Tuesday when I was off. Today's Friday, so three days growth and I mean it took that off very very easily this is um I'm setting one um <laughs> a very very efficient razor this is not a Mercury 34c on number one for sure this thing is this thing's got some bite still a strange looking razor though I'm sure some people really like the look, though. It's for touristic looking. I mean, you have to pay attention with this thing, even on the one. I mean, if you can hear the blade that much, I mean, you know it's still got positive blade exposure, and I can certainly feel the blade. There's no doubt about it. I don't, even on one, I don't think this is an everyday shaver. I mean, I can feel its effects on my skin already. Um, and I'm just, you know, two passes in. But if you really love efficient razors, you may, you may like this one. Though I think the um, Mula R41 is way more uh, smooth than this razor. Um, you know. This one certainly does what it's supposed to do with efficiency. Really beautiful, simple soap base. I mean, you don't have to have 84 different exotic butters in your formula to make it good. And this one is certainly good. And I'm really enjoying this scent. Well, who wants to smell like soda? Um, it's lemon, lime, and orange. Who doesn't want to smell like that beautifulness? Boy. Mm -mm. Nope. Not going that way there. I can feel it. My skin doesn't want that today. Let your skin dictate what you do. If it doesn't feel right, don't do it. I mean, that was like dragging. I'm telling you this thing is efficient. Certainly not for the mild shavers. Not even on one. Mm. 
This may be one that I piff out to someone. We'll see. I haven't totally made up my mind yet, but it's just a little heavier than I want. And if it's going to be a super efficient, I want it to be really smooth also. And I know that's, that's kind of hard to do, but the R41 certainly does it. The um, carbon for its efficiency with the Plus Plus is fantastic. Fantastically smooth, yet efficient. It's not as efficient as the R41, but I mean, it's still a very nice, efficient razor. Very smooth, comfortable. Much more comfortable than a carve in you know to my skin in my opinion i mean look i keep adding water i keep getting more lather a simple recipe that is quite effective doing a good job all right let's see Help myself get right there and it's a little it's a little sore right now this thing is 100% not for the meek but one of you may get a chance to win it out there Maybe I'll do a 850 subscriber giveaway. I think we're at around 830 now. I mean, even on one, it's just not real comfortable. Not uncomfortable enough for me to stop, but it's just, it's just better out there. Some people love this razor. Maybe if you spend a long time with it and really figure out its nuances. Look, I got that spot again. I knew it was going to happen. All right. Skin is not super happy with this razor today. I'm getting a close shave, just maybe not the most comfortable. All right. Do love the soap and scent though. Good stuff. All right, I am gonna try and get the trouble spots again. I mean, it's just hard to keep the pressure off with a head that heavy. I definitely see why they call it the potato peeler. This thing is not forgiving at all. good not the closest shave that I've ever had um, but still certainly close really close right there in there same spots as last time just open the mark back up so yeah I think I've decided I am gonna I'm gonna pit this one um, follow my I, I will probably announce it on um, Instagram. Um, I may do it here as well, um, and I'll come up with I'll come up with something.
and it's not going to be like a you know tag three or four people for a bunch of uh chances it, it's not going to be that it's going to be like um i'm in you know i mean something simple i don't need you to go trump up more followers for me or anything like that it's just a simple thank you to you guys and give you a, a chance to to try this out i mean if you've already if you've already got the future or you've already used it and don't care for it you know i probably don't enter <laughs> but you know if you want to you still can but i would like to get it into the hands of someone that, that hasn't used it before and i would ask the winner if you don't like it um you know please don't sell it please give it away to someone else just piff it obviously once it's in your hands you can do whatever you want to but you know the beauty of this hobby is how wonderful all the community is how giving everyone is and i would just ask you to keep that up you know it was piffed to me um it's not my favorite um so i'm gonna piff it out um and i would hope that if you don't like it you would keep that keep that going Man. Daddy, I need Q-tips. Can you move, please? Mm -hmm. A few spots on there. Thanks, there you go. Daddy. You're welcome. All right. I will, while that alum is working, I will wash out my brush, and then we'll finish to our... We'll get to our the rest of our post shave. Good stuff, Thomas. And Thomas's wife enjoyed it. That splash. I mean, it smells just like Mountain Dew. Beautiful lemon lime citrus. Uh, lemon lime orange. Very very nice. Nice tasting soda also. And I'm not you know I'm not a big soda head. Um, But I would, I will occasionally have a diet Mountain Dew. I got the diabetes, so I can't be, can't be drinking the full sugars. But honestly, even before having diabetes, I didn't drink the the full sugar ones anyway. Beautiful brush. It's got some nice shimmer in there. I don't know if it really picks up or not. Might do better this way. No, hard to see, but anyway, beautiful brush. Great job. All right, the bleeding almost done. Still just, you know, a couple spots. Oh, I didn't even see that. Yeah, man, this thing is, is not for me. I'm not gonna say it's it's bad. It's just It's just not for me. And you guys know I like efficient racers. I do. Just this one is not for me. Reed pitched in his game last night. Um, I was very happy to see that. I was a pitcher growing up. Um, anyway, he did a he did a pretty good job. He got a strikeout and um, a couple of ground outs. So that was good. Sicilian lemon is so fresh smelling. It is my favorite lemon scent so far. There's a couple that have come out or are coming out. Um, Shannon Soap's Lemon Prosecco, I really want to try. Um, and then there is um, Lemon Cello um, that I think is already out from um, Ariana and Evans. Um, it was just exclusive for the people in the club, uh, but I think I think that it's out to everyone now, so I think that's one I'm probably going to have to check out as well. Um, I hope all of you have a great day um, tonight. So you guys thought that I straightened my hair and everything for you today, uh, and I did partially, uh, but the other is because we have uncorking tonight. Um, and uncorking, we're doing Jack Daniels um, single barrel select. Um, and instead of 
um, 9 o'clock Eastern Time. It's going to be 8 o'clock Eastern Time, which is a little nicer for me since I have to go to work in the morning. Um, but we're going to have fun with that. So please join if you have time. Um, I know BBS Live has got some announcements also. They've got um, a new uh, soap set um, and maybe fragrance too. I'm not sure um, that'll be coming out before long. Um, and it's going to be a Kentucky Mule, um, which would be like lime and ginger. Um, should be really nice. I'm excited to try that out. Uh, but anyway, I hope you guys have a fantastic week weekend. Um, and I'm off on Monday, so likely I'll see you then. So have a great time until then, and peace!